brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to the OSMTH video prayer service. Today we are in the Roman Catholic Church of Turku, and the parish is called after Saint Bridget or Birgitta in Swedish and, and the Finnish languages. Saint Birgitta and blessed Hemming. And uh, the vicar of the parish is Father Peter Gebara, who kindly has invited us to come here and has promised to give his welcome words and opening prayer. Welcome, Father Peter. Thank you. Hello to everybody. And because we are in Catholic Church, maybe I will say this in Latin, Laudetur Jesus Christus. We are living now in a very special time. I must say we are very worried about this time now, what's happened in the whole world, but especially in Ukraine. And what we can do, all Christians, of course, we are trying to help very concrete, but our duty and our the most powerful helping is praying for them and, of course, for all of us. And now, for this opening prayer, I want to use the prayer of our Pope, uh, Saint John twenty uh, third, and he was always trying to to united people. Was always very uh, hurry about this that the people must be together, and of course our Lord Jesus Christ also wants that all we will be united in Him. And I hope there's also this service now, this praying together, maybe will go in our heart, touch us, that we must thinking about these all people in, uh, in hurry and especially in this uh, war. I am also happy that uh, Rovasti could pray with me here and also asking me to, to be in this service. Thank you. And then now maybe not, uh, it's not so polite to just to speak too much, but let us pray together. Lord Jesus Christ, who are called the Prince of Peace, who are yourself our peace and reconciliation, who so often said, peace to you, grant us peace, make all men and women witnesses of true justice and brotherly love, banish from their hearts whatever might endanger peace, Enlighten our rules that they may guarantee and defend the great gift of peace. May all peoples of the earth become as brothers and sisters. May longed for peace blossom forth and reign always over us all. God our Father, give to us peace and give the power to share the peace with everyone, with everybody. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ, we thank Father Peter Kebara. Uh, for his kind welcoming words and the prayer. 
Uh, the psalm of today is Psalm 25. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I trust, O my God. Do not let me be put to shame, nor let my enemies triumph over me. No one whose hope is in you will ever be put to shame. But uh, they will be put to shame who are treacherous without excuse. Show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. Remember, O Lord, your great mercy and love for they are from, the, from of old. Remember not the sins of my youth and my rebellious ways. According to your love, remember me, for you are good, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore he instructs sinners in his way. He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them his way. All the ways of the Lord are loving and faithful for those who keep the demands of his covenant. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord God, you led your people through the wilderness and brought them to the promised land. Guide us now so that following your Son we may walk safely through the wilderness of this world toward the life you alone can give. Through Jesus Christ our Saviour and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit one God, now and forever. Amen. Uh, the New Testament reading is from uh, the first Corinthians chapter 10. So if you think you are standing firm, be careful that you don't fall. No temptation has seized you except what is common to man. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can stand up under it. The Gospel today is from St. Matthew chapter 15. Leaving that place, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. A Canaanite woman from that vicinity came to him, crying out, Lord, John of David, have mercy on me. My daughter is suffering terribly from a demon, a demon possession. Jesus did not answer a word. So his disciples came to him and urged him, Send her away, for she keeps crying out after us. He answered, I was, not sent, I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. The woman came and knelt before him. Lord, help me, she said. He replied, It is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to their dogs. Yes, Lord, she said, but even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered, Woman, you have a great faith. Your request is granted. And her daughter was healed from that very hour. 
I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father and will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I want highlight very briefly two details found in the Gospel of today. The first one, the woman. She continued to pray, though she was first rejected by Jesus. She kept on praying, and finally she was heard. Jesus said to her, your request is granted. Uh, this encourages us in our prayers. Keep praying, though it seems that nothing is happening. And the second one, the woman was canonite. She was not Israeli. So to say, she was a foreigner. And in the beginning also Jesus himself refers to that, as he says, I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. But after all, the love of God does not know any borders. The love of God is the same for everyone, for all of us. And this is something we should remember in our own actions to others. Not to build up borders, to consider anyone as a foreigner, as God's love is the same for everyone. Today it is uh, the second Sunday of Lent. The prayer called Trishagion, O Holy God, Holy and Strong, Holy and Immortal, is traditionally used especially during the Lenten season. Let us now pray using the words of Trishagion. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. We pray to you for the salvation of our souls, for the spread of your church over all the earth, and for the unity of all believers. Give us pastors and counselors who are pleasing to you. May your Spirit generate life through the Word and the sacraments. Hear us, good Lord God. Grant your peace into our hearts and homes. Give young people strength to walk in your ways. Bring peace to nations in this world and justice and righteousness upon the earth. We ask for your wise guidance to heads of the states, for your blessing and protection upon our countries and people, and for everything we need in this life. Hear us, good Lord God. Support and help the sick. Save those in the distress and danger. 
give endurance to those who suffer because of their faith. We ask for your gracious presence in places of sorrow and suffering. Give us a blessed death and a joyous reunion with beloved ones who have passed away. Hear us, good Lord God. To him, the King of Kings, who loves us and has released us from our sins with his blood, the praise and honor, glory and power, always and forever. Amen. And today we continue to pray for Ukraine and the people of Ukraine. And we pray for peace everywhere in our troubled world. Brothers and sisters, we are, as said in the Roman Catholic Church of Turku, and this church and Paris uh, is uh, dedicated to Saint Bridget, or as I said, Birgitta, Saint Birgitta of Sweden, and uh, the blessed Hemming, who was a medieval bishop here in Finland. So our closing prayer is a prayer of Saint Bridget. Let us pray. O Lord, Make haste to illuminate the night. Say to my soul that nothing happens without you permitting it, and that nothing of what you permit is without comfort. O Jesus, Son of God, you who were silent in the presence of your accusers, restrain my tongue until I find what I should say and how to say it. Show me the way and make me ready to follow it. It is uh, dangerous to delay, yet perilous to go forward. Answer my petition and show me the way. As the wounded go to the doctor in church of aid, so do I come to you. O Lord, give your peace to my heart. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today your, our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.